Hello guys, what's up? So another awkward double biceps and uh, I want to talk about Arthur Jones a little bit. I have never actually talked about Arthur Jones or high intensity training but I really like uh, actually high intensity training not like the super simplistic one but I do really like uh, high intensity training and if you have actually watched my transformation video I have somewhere in the in around 2013 I gained a lot of muscle mass when I switched uh, some sort of uh, high intensity training from I think it was from uh, Mike Menzer and I want to talk a little bit about Arthur Jones because I think that a lot of people actually misrepresent uh, high intensity training and they don't actually know what they're talking about and people who are basically pretty much pussies uh, tend to talk about high intensity training because they don't want to actually do a lot of sets so they think that just by doing one set it's like easier or something but nevertheless we're not going to talk about uh, nautilus equipment maybe a little bit but i want to tell you about some secret uh arthur jones uh, routine which he recommended for conventional equipment and he pointed out that uh, men like i quote men like schwarzenegger cole pearl colombo and many others are products of barbell training all of their, all of the above named men have or soon will have used Nautilus equipment, blah blah. They won't, but doesn't matter. But it was not responsible for their development. All of them were well known long before they ever heard or used the new types of equipment. So, excuse my English. And while people usually think that Arthur Jones recommended just like one set to failure to failure in like two weeks or one week at least uh, it's simply it's not true and I'm now going to read you the his recommended <laughs> for conventional equipment routine which is crazy and just remember all of these sets have to be done until a failure so this is a routine a full body routine which you need to do three times per week so you're doing this three times per week and this is 27 sets in one day full body so this routine is it's brutal and i mean it's brutal because you're doing like dips and stiff legged deadlifts in the end of the like training and you already did like i don't know 25 sets of heavy squats and barbell standing press i'm going to read you the full routine now and you be the judge if he so that everybody knows from now on that when training with conventional equipment he pretty much uh, was suggesting a lot different stuff than people are telling you and uh, this equipment uh, and after this I'm just going to briefly analyze it in the light of new scientific evidence and research so this is the routine two sets of 10 repetitions full squat so that means as to grass three sets of 20 one-legged cap rises two sets of 10 barbell standing press two sets of 10 behind the neck chins two sets of 10 bench presses two sets of 10 regular grip chins two sets of 10 parallel dips <laughs> Two sets of 10 barbell curls, so this this is about half the workout, just half of the workout. Two sets of 12 pulley triceps curls, but this probably triceps push down. Two sets of 15 wrist curls, one set of 10 regular grip chins, so you're pretty much doing uh, like two times in the same workout you're doing uh, chin ups and two times in the same workout you're doing uh, dips so you're pretty much doing three sets of uh, uh, chin ups and you're doing three sets of dips just so you know that in the same workout 
and that's for three times per week so that means you're doing nine sets of chin-ups per week and you're doing nine sets of dips per week so so yeah you're doing nine sets of chins and nine sets of dips and after parallel dips like third set of parallel dips you're doing stiff legged deadlifts and after that you're doing dumbbell side rises so that's crazy i mean just reading this workout and just like imagining doing it two sets of 10 on full squats so that's bit till failure so just remember that until failure in my um in my personal uh, example that's somewhere between 160 to 180 kilos depending on how good i feel so that's like i would be dead here that like that's done and in other like uh, articles and bulletins uh, he is explaining like uh, when you get to with your first set so he pretty much never said that you need to do just one set he recommended two to three sets on every exercise uh, pretty much always and what he is saying is that you have to do like first set until failure so for example 100 kilos for 10 reps and then you have to do with 100 kilos as many as you can and this would be lower of course because you're already pre-fatigued because of the first set of failure so for example you would do somewhere around 100 uh, kilos for 10 and after that you would do 100 kilos for 6 or 7 reps and the third set would be 100 kilos to for about 4 to 5 reps depending on how efficient you are and um, so my main point here is that this pretty much is in alignment with uh, how current uh, science exercise, uh, exercise science actually is trying to tell you to train because what pretty much just distilled all of the shit distilled in like few sentences current scientific research suggests that you should train pretty close to failure uh, like one to two reps uh, close to failure and uh, like uh, the working set would be counted even as far as four set uh, four reps to failure which is rp6 and you should do so that's intensity like one to four reps to failure or although i would suggest just one to two sets to failure and the most three uh, and for volume you should do around 10 to 20 sets so this is like really 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 broad range and you have to have in mind that uh based on these studies it's not like all of the people that came did 10 to 20 sets no it's like that's average so some people maybe gained on five sets per week but some people maybe gaining best on 30 sets per week so you don't even know but here you are basically doing a lot of sets per week a lot more than one and you're doing them all to failure so i just wanted to cover this topic a little bit because it's really interesting and uh of course arthur jones was kind of crazy you know he had like elephants and i don't know lions or tigers and he was a multimillionaire in i don't know 60s so having 600 million dollars in the 60s or 70s it's like that's by itself in it's you know it's fucking like amazing accomplishment you know he definitely isn't stupid and i honestly believe that he was really trying to figure out what makes muscles grow i honestly believe that and maybe he was bullshitting a little bit because he wanted to sell nautilus equipment but when you really think about it the nautilus, the nautilus equipment it's really designed to hit your muscles like super specifically and he like really gets into details uh, around that but uh, when you really think about it currently exercise scientists are trying to tell you that for example the squat might not be the best exercise for you that you need to do some exercises that are hitting your 
quadriceps properly. And what was like Arthur Jones trying to do with his machines? You know, to hit your quads properly. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm not really into machines. I actually don't like machines. It's like it's just personal preference. I just like dumbbells and uh, barbells. It's not like I don't believe that machines can grow your muscles. But personally, I just like more like uh, barbells and dumbbells and uh, like pretty much conventional equipment, doing pull-ups, dips, and all that stuff. But yeah, for example, the only thing that I actually do believe that more uh, like gyms should have is the pullover Nautilus pullover machine. So this is like for lats, you're do, you're like really stretching the lat and you're like really training it you, through the whole range of motion. So that's like uh, you don't really get that from any exercise. The only thing might closely be like really close grip uh, chin up like this or with v, v bar and you're doing it like really strictly and really 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 trying to stretch your uh, like legs and but uh, yeah so I just wanted to cover this because I really like uh, this old school type of uh, training uh, routines and this is certainly probably one of the craziest routines because I know how I feel after two really 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 heavy sets of 10 on squats and just imagining that I have to do another 25 sets to failure on each exercise it's like it's it's you know insane and just to <laughs> and just to do the, the same shit two days after I mean that's like that's crazy you know that's crazy so I guess that this video probably showed you that uh, not all people are like this so it's not like if you're doing high intensity you have to do one set to failure every like 50 days it's not like it's not like that and I really encourage you to read all of these bulletins in arthurjonesexercise.com they're all there it's all free they, are, they are like small PDFs uh, that consists around two to five pages and it's pretty much a whole book about uh, uh, like uh, high intensity training there are some little bullshit stuff in there but most of the stuff is like pretty legit he was like in a lot of stuff you're really like reading it and you're like you're really like man this this dude was really ahead of his ahead of his time in many aspects Oh, I'm so much stumbling with this English. So, there you go guys. Hope you liked this video. Uh, we, we kind of analyzed this Arthur Jones like crazy routine. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And see you guys in the next video. Bye. Peace. Again.